Good afternoon, guys. It is November 13th, 2023. On this video here, I want to talk to you about a couple different machines um, and some of the differences. Uh, now, this is between a bagged and a bagless vacuum cleaner. Now, Bagless vacuum cleaners have become wildly popular. Like 90 to 95 percent of the vacuum cleaners you're going to find today are bagless. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, now, there's nothing inherently wrong with bagless vacuum cleaners. However, me personally, I don't really prefer them. Um, you know, all your debris and dust and stuff is in here. And then when you go to empty it, there's all these crevices and stuff in here that stuff is stuck in. Um, plus you have filter maintenance and all of that. And to me it's just more effort than it's worth. Um, especially as your main vacuum cleaner. Um, I don't mind bagless for like in between cleanings or you know, smaller jobs that aren't quite so messy. But when it comes to your main vacuum cleaner that actually does the bulk of the work, a bagged vacuum cleaner, in my opinion, is a thousand times better and a thousand times easier to deal with. Um, you know, a lot of people just think that bagged vacuum cleaners are going to cost them more money and it's going to be more work. Honestly, it's quite the opposite. Um, the amount of time that you're going to spend properly maintaining and cleaning these out versus just changing a bag and throwing it away, if your time is worth anything, you've already spent more on getting that maintained. So, um, so me personally, I prefer the bagged vacuum cleaners. Um, do I enjoy bagless vacuum cleaners? Yes, to an extent, I do. But when it comes to the maintenance part of it, that's where I have a problem. Now, I'll clean this up, but I'm going to show you how to... So what you do... See, all that stuff just fell out. Um, you know, and I would honestly dump this outside. But I want to show you an area that is problematic, at least with this particular one. This is a Dyson. Um, you see the bottom of the lid here? There's like gunk and stuff stuck in there. Then you have to shake it out. And some stuff just sticks to it like really, really bad. Now what I normally do is this is the only bagless vacuum cleaner that I own. All the rest of them are bagged. I will vacuum this out with one of the bagged ones because it's just nasty. Um, there's not too much in here. I just vacuumed the kitchen floor with it and that's all I did. So. But as you can see, it makes quite a mess and when stuff gets stuck in the crevices, uh, it's quite the uh, effort to uh, get cleaned up. Um, 
Whereas a bag, you literally just open it up. And you pull the bag out. Get your fingers behind there. And gently wiggle it out. And it's actually... You can get away with changing the bag every three to six months, depending upon your household, your usage, and, you know, how many people and pets you have in your house. You know, you pull that out, it's all inside of here, you know? It's all in here. Nothing is getting out. There's nothing in the compartment of the vacuum cleaner at all. Absolutely nothing. And you can literally just tape the hole and throw it in the trash. It doesn't go flying everywhere. It doesn't make a mess. It's simple. You know, now you want to make sure you get a vacuum cleaner that has common bags. A few that I would recommend that have bags that are common as can be is a Hoover wind tunnel, a Bissell Power Force bagged, an Auric, a classic Auric or a sanitaire that takes Eureka style F and G bags. Um, and there might be a few others that I'm missing, but any vacuum cleaner that has bags that have been around for decades, I would go with because that means that bags are gonna be everywhere for them, both aftermarket and genuine stuff. And Chances are, if you have a vacuum cleaner that's like way out of warranty, it's like 10, 15, 20 years old, I wouldn't worry about getting genuine bags for most vacuum cleaners. If you go up to something like, say, a Kirby or, you know, a Mila or something like that, I would recommend sticking with the genuine bags with those just to protect that investment, but... A standard vacuum cleaner such as this or a Bissell or something that's cheaper, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, and the other thing is they're easier to maintain. They're a lot better because this one you have filters where you have to actually open it and clean out the filters and stuff. And a lot of people forget that. Like, a lot of people pay absolutely no attention to that. Um, whereas a bag, this is your primary filter. Yes, we have other filters, but this stops 99% of what you pick up. And so, most likely, you won't even have to touch the other filters. Hardly ever. Um, and so, like I said, three to six months per bag. You spend about $15 for, let's say, a pack of six bags. And that pack of bags will last you one year, two years, sometimes even three years. So, you know... In my opinion, the cost of $15 every, let's say, every two years, just as a rough average, you know, versus spending a lot of time once a month cleaning this thing out, you know, and plus you have all the dirt flying around, um, 
Now, it doesn't always go flying around, but, like, if you have a lot and you're having to shake it out, um, it can be a mess. And then fine stuff can stick in here. It can clog up the cyclones. It can clog up stuff. So you've got to make sure that you keep it cleaned out. Like I said, with my bagged vacuum cleaners, I'll open this up and I'll vacuum it out. Um, you know, in these bags, you can pack these bags like a sack of flour. I mean, you can, like, fill them to where they're, like, hard as a rock. I don't recommend that, but you can do that. And most likely it won't even affect much. You know, you just take it out and it's just a big clock. And you seal it up and you toss it in the trash. Um, and some may argue that, you know, that's just putting more in the landfill. I mean, there's some truth to that. But to me, I'm not worried about that. Because a bagless vacuum cleaner... A lot of people throw out bagless vacuum cleaners because they have no idea that there are filters to clean out and stuff. And throwing away all this plastic is way, way, way worse than throwing out a paper or a fiber bag. You know, let's think about this. Big hunk of plastic versus just a little bag. And the bagged vacuum cleaners will last you, depending upon how well it's made and how well you maintain it, they will last you 15, 20 years. Um, especially if you get a decent one. Uh, this one is 11 years old. I mean, it's still running perfect. Um, Yes, you can get a long life out of a bagless vacuum cleaner, but most people don't understand how to do that. And it's not as obvious. A bag is very obvious. It's like, oh, well, the bag is full. Let me pull that out, put a new bag in. And most of the time, that's all you have to do. You know, obviously, you got to clean out the hair and the roller, but this is way more obvious than trying to hunt for filters and clean stuff out because I, I hate to say it but especially for the average consumer they really don't understand how everything is clogged up I mean I volunteer at a place that actually has a Hoover bagless vacuum cleaner and it's in a commercial setting I pulled it out because I had to use it one time the whole thing was clogged up because nobody ever knew that there was a filter in there and you know unfortunately I couldn't clean it out because you know at the time I just didn't have the time but you know this is a lot easier because you just pull out the bag, you throw it in the trash, you put a fresh bag in, and you're good to go. You don't have to open stuff up, clean stuff out. You don't have to mess with filters and stuff. And the performance generally is a lot better in the long run. Um... And so, that's just something to consider. Um, you know, like I said, there's nothing inherently wrong with bagless vacuum cleaners. But if you're somebody who's not going to understand the maintenance of these, or you're just not willing to, then a bagged vacuum cleaner is arguably a better option. And especially for people with allergies um, or other health conditions, um, a bagless vacuum cleaner is not going to help you with that. I mean, it's just not. Um, because the bag traps everything, it will help you a lot more. You know, think about your furnace filter. 
You know, you throw away your furnace filter, you know, every month or three months or however long to get rid of all that dust and you put a fresh filter in. A vacuum cleaner with a bag is the exact same principle. And honestly, the vacuum bags are about the same price as a furnace filter for most furnace filter sizes. So this is just something to think about. Um, and most of the time, bagged vacuum cleaners are just built more solid. Um, you know, and they just hold up better. Um, now, yes, you will have some bagged vacuum cleaners that are just junk, but this one has held up for over 10 years, and it probably has another 10 years of life left in it, you know. And bagless vacuum cleaners can last that long. They really can, but you want to make sure that you maintain them properly. And most people just aren't willing to do that. And so if you're not willing to do that, then bagged is just the way to go. I mean, it really is. Um, and, and I think you'll be a lot happier with the product, uh, performance of the product. You know? because it's a lot easier to keep clean, it's a lot easier to maintain, and the performance is just gonna be more uh, consistent over time. Um, a common misconception is bagged vacuum cleaners constantly lose suction or airflow or whatever. They might have in the past, but with the bags that are available nowadays, that's most of the time not the case they usually perform very very well up until they are just absolutely full um, and so and like I said that takes several months to get to that point um, and it's a lot more convenient I recommend emptying these outside to keep stuff out of your house because if you empty it in the house you know let's say it's in your garbage can if you throw away like you know a mayonnaise jar or something else um you know sorry got a message um it will disturb that dust kick it back up it's not the best thing um, so those are just some differences to consider when you're shopping for a vacuum cleaner you know you may very well be okay with a bagless vacuum cleaner and you understand the maintenance behind it and you're okay with that and that is totally fine like I said there's nothing wrong with it I just want to inform people especially the average consumer about the differences between the two options because a lot of people do not understand the differences other than oh well I don't have to buy bags but they fail to realize that you still have to do a lot of maintenance that you otherwise don't have to do with the bag vacuum cleaners and so you know, whatever is worth it to you, if your time is worth it to maintain this so you don't have to buy bags, by all means, go ahead and do that. But if your time is worth anything and it's costing you time, you might as well just buy replacement bags and change them every few months. Because then it's just quick like that you know whereas you have to spend probably a good 20 minutes cleaning this thing out 
you know, in order to keep it running efficiently, you know, every month or two. So, yeah, those are just some differences. I hope you learned something from that. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.